Hi, how are you doing, Aries? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you're having a blessed day. This is your reading for the next 48 hours. I hope this reading resonates. I hope you can get something from this reading. Um, this reading should be able to help you with whatever you're going through, whatever you have on mind. Um, all right, let's get into your reading. I get a sense of something didn't work out as you uh, thought, something didn't go in your favor, uh, something made you just stop what you were doing, just hit the brakes and just about the situation. Um, there is a big need for you to, um, it, might be, it might be a relationship related, uh, and, uh, but there's new beginnings coming in for you, new love on its way. Um, after failed opportunities, yeah, there are going to be new ones coming in. But yours, the way it looks like, there's some messaging that might be going on. Uh, you might be a bit too cutting off. You might be a bit too, um, too harsh. Or it might be coming from somebody who is a bit protective of their heart, of their emotions. Some communication is going to be taking place. And the new direction is going to begin in terms of uh, starting a home settlement, starting to build off uh, the little you'll have, or just uh, you're all starting to build your future. Yeah. Let's see, what does Aries need to know for the next 48 hours? For some reason, for the past couple of days, I've been meeting Aries, a lot of Aries, Vago, and uh, Leo. Yeah, those three people. Fire and Earth signs. What does Aries need to know for the next 48 hours? What does Aries need to know? There's something that didn't go to plan. And it made you feel some sort of way. Uh, connection, just something didn't work out. However, by it now working out, it set you on a course for a new beginning, new, new journeys in life. Your mind space got a little bit clear, or you had a lot to look forward to. Or you feel like um, something didn't work out and now you have hope to, or just you feel more stable now. Or the universe is pushing you to be more stable and secure before you pursue this uh, connection or relationship. King of Pentacles. You might be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or you might be coming through a time where you are enjoying your success. Just looking good off your own uh, mojo. Um, if this is a connection related, I feel like you need to seek out a new perspective. You might have been seeing things through one uh, one's perspective. Just seeing things how they are. Uh, give yourself some time. Um, try to seek out new insights, how things um you know, think, I, I always think things don't just happen by one piece of page or just one page of uh, the book. I feel like there's always another story that needs to be told. You might be seeing, excuse me, you might be seeing one page of the book, however, it's just like there is another side to the story, you know. Well, let's see. Uh, you might be wanting a connection or a partner to settle with. Um, maybe you have somebody on your mind who's an earth sign, who they're always uh, in this energy of um, 
They have status. Excuse me. They have status. One thing they truly possess is status and uh, success. Or they're coming through a time of uh, looking really good. If this is you and you're not dealing with anybody. Oh. Oh. If this is you and you're not dealing with anybody. get this energy of uh, you need to seek a new perspective of uh, your home settlement you know you might be um, you might be uh, waiting on a rebirth uh, just a resurrection on a, a situation you might have been hoping for it to come back to life or for you to um, re-sign a contract with the judgment You might be feeling stuck. I get this energy of uh, you were working on something or something you're working on. Uh, you might have met somebody along, along the way with the Knight of Cups. Somebody who was offering you their love or somebody who was coming in and going, you know, they have other places to be with the night being here. Uh, if this was somebody who was offering you their love, I feel like maybe you had um, high hopes or you were dealing with so much and that's why this connection didn't truly work out for you. Or just, it's, it's not that it didn't truly true on work out. That's what it comes out as. It seems like things were not going, things didn't go anywhere. There was no direction. It was just... Um, somebody who just stopped by to just cause some chaos and just left and you might be walking away from a situation which uh, you might have invested a lot in but with the king of pentacles i feel like you have something to show off with the cups um With the cups, um, with the cups, excuse me, uh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. You might be, you might be a bit emotional this time, uh, or dealing with a really emotional, emotionally expressive person. But they might not come off as that way because with the night they're still having that armor of shield on. But with the, with the four of wands, I see you really being stable in your home foundation. I truly see you being firm and grounded. You're trying to search yourself up for the future. And with the judgment in reverse, I feel like there is no a rebirth. There is no renewal of a, a situation. Or there is, however, it's taking time. Because you or your person is working on something. Something that they are wanting to show off in the future. Something that they want to present to the bu to the public eye, or um, you yourself might be teaming up with other people to really create something more firm and steady. However, the ah uh, okay the 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 fucking uh, the fool and the lovers, uh, new journeys, new experiences. You might be deciding to take a leap of faith in a love situation or a connection, or towards somebody who you feel like you have passion for. But I see you being, um, I see you being financially, I want to say stable, told you, told you. But I wouldn't be surprised if there is a, a separation between the, you and your loved one, you and your lovers. And the new beginnings are taking their time right now. 
That could be the case where you feel like uh, new beginnings and um, this love correct connection is taking some time where there's some separation taking place. However, well, that's for you to really um, realize what's going on. Right now, it's a good time to realize it's, it's not good to truly be stuck or just um, have control issues. I'm sorry, Aries, you can be like that sometimes, but it's just, it's natural, you know. With the three of uh, pentacles, I get this energy of uh, just you working on, um, mm. why is the chariot in reverse? I think the cherry is in reverse because you need to see a new perspective in this connection. What you're trying to build upon. You might be having a lot on your hands right now and some have to go, some options have to go, some people have to go. How you coming off is the king of pentacles, you enjoying your bonus and success. Really, really looking good. And you being brave and courageous to take action towards situations that cause you fear in your heart. You're taking action, however you, you feel, oh man, there's somebody who causes you some heartbreak. That's what I feel. Situation is causing you to feel some pain. And that's why maybe you might be in this Knight of Cups energy uh, where you're just running around and just seeing what's the next big option, what's the next big score. However, it's kind of like you're not trying to get hard, it's just that you're checking what truly suits you. And along the way, you're going to lose some people. You're going to lose some options. You're having to let some things go, uh, connections go. Because what's meant for you, I feel like, it is the one that's going to be there. You know, what's meant for you will always be there for you. These three cups fell down. However, these two are truly meant to be there. They are yours. Uh, you might be having some people in your lives who you might be doubting. However, after you lose everything, after you, you lose all the connections, it's kind of like you realize who was truly there for you and who is not. With the tower, I get this energy of you. Might, yeah, with the tower uh, covering the five of cups, uh, I feel like you're going through uh, some change, some self realizement uh, realizing moments. A uh, situation you might have been in is not as uh, solid as you think. You might have been building upon a connection, and uh, it just all just building some. Uh, real, there, there is a with the tower, it can happen with anything, but it's change that's happening within your life. You're going through a situation of uh, evolving, I want to say, realizing what you are worth, what you, where you might have been going wrong, where you might have been uh, slacking off, and that's coming to the light. And you're having, oh God, you're having that 10, excuse me, you're having that five of, um, uh, I can't even say it right, I can't even say it right. You're having that nine of souls energy. And it's in the feeling of, you realizing how you might have went upon a situation, you realize how you might have maybe acted, or just what you might have been building onto. And with the Nine of Swords, it's, it's giving you a hard time. You know, that realization is happening, but we gotta learn to forgive ourselves. Don't let the situation truly drain you of the energy. <sighs> Man, the, something is really latching onto you. So either something from the past, or just how you acted in the past, or just this connection that didn't go right, and uh, or maybe you were expecting a reunion, a rebirth with somebody. And it just turns out like they're focusing on their own thing. They're teaming up with other people. They're minding their own business. And it's causing, yeah. If you're dealing with somebody who, who or you in the past or somebody who has options, it's kind of like they're not even giving them some time. And maybe it might be one of those options which is like, oh, um... I'm one of the people you have on the table, but I should be looked at. You know, I'm the shit. I'm the Aries. You know, I'm the I'm the bomb. You know. However, it's kind of like this person is in the energy of I don't give a fuck. I feel like they're just looking for yeah. I feel like maybe a person moved on to seek that love from somebody else, so just you decided to move on. But with the heartbreak, you mm, with the heartbreak and the king. Of pentacles, I feel like you're enjoying your success and maybe you're feeling like it would be nice to have somebody who you're partnering up right now. 
and currently with the four of wands you might be enjoying what you have achieved your home settlement you know just thanking yourself just being hey i'm grateful to have got to this point but somebody's on your mind situations on your mind is causing you to feel some sort of way and with the high priestess i feel like you're having to uh get in touch with your intuition your intuition right now might be uh, telling you one thing and you're feeling like um, it's not on point or you just feel you just feel chaotic, you know, especially when we're going through tower moments. It's that moment of, uh, man, shit is going down in my life. I'm going through a lot. And with the Queen of Swords, I understand, you know, you're going through some changes. Literally, that's the, that's the definition of a tower, changes. And with the Queen of Swords, you're coming from changes. It's kind of like you're turning your back from bullshit and you're heading forwards. Uh, either your own bullshit, your own actions. You're realizing what you might have done in your life. And this kind of, uh, hey, I'm moving forward and uh, I have some clearing, I have some cleansing to do. With the Knight of Swords, I really, I really, really, with the Knight of Swords, damn. With the Knight of Swords, I get this energy of, uh, you're moving towards something. You're being brave and courageous to take your chances, to head in a direction. Why is the, to give yourself the self-care, self-love, self-nurture. Because you want to grow, you want to expand. It's just like this heartbreak is making you feel slow. This heartache, this pain, this um, situation you were hoping that uh, it truly comes to life. Yeah, it's being delayed. However, it's still the judgment here. You know, it's still the judgment. There's going to be a rebirth in the future. It's just like it's not happening now. It's just, it's not true own really taking place right now. It's going to happen. But not now, you know, right now you might be needing to settle down on your own or just uh, settle down with uh, your partner. I don't know. What the fuck? With, um... Ah. With the uh, two of, uh... Two of cups, I get this energy of uh, self-care, self nurture Or you might be studying out a connection. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't just come out of one situation and just rush out in another one. Don't do that. Give yourself some time to heal. Give yourself some time to heal. I don't care. I don't care how much you feel stuck. I don't care how much you feel like this situation is not going. Learn to invest in yourself. Learn to make decisions on your own, regardless of how much pain you're feeling. If you're feeling out like you're coming out of a situation or out of a connection, balance yourself out. Balance yourself out. Balance yourself out. Two of cups. You could be giving your cup to somebody, but I truly do not advise that. You might be in that moment of... Uh, Right now, you know, a relationship didn't work out, this connection didn't work out to the potential, or just it ended up to be a heartbreak, it ended up to be a flank. And things in my life are not fully uh, working out, the direction I want to head in is not, is not there. You know, it feels like I'm losing sight of my vision, I'm running around in circles. Give yourself some time, heal up. You know, sometimes we got to take a pause. Sometimes you gotta just hit the brakes. Balance yourself up, balance your finances, how much you keep, how much you save. Excuse me, how much you spend, how much you save. I don't care how rich you are. I don't care how much you have in this world. Balance out, balance out. Don't be overspending. Be the richest motherfucker in this world and everything will fall on your feet. But you gotta realize that nobody is worth causing you this pain and just making you feel like you have to go snoop around. You are worth it. You are more than fucking gold. Your whole life in general is even worth more than gold. Somebody causing you pain and this situation causing you to go see another situation or just involve yourself in another situation, it might not truly be what you seem, you think. Because with a hair front, followed by the three of cups, I'm telling you, 
You might be thinking it's a it's a commitment that's coming up, however it's a third party. Or your person might have put you through a third party situation and uh, you were th there seeking uh, commitment it's just like your person wasn't with it. Ooh, that's kind of tough. Yeah, if you were dealing with somebody who you feel like they were, you want, uh, I'm dealing with an Aries, right? Yeah, you might be, you might have put somebody in a third party or just you were dealing with third parties or just other people who are involved in whatever situation you are in. Or just there's a celebration, a union that's taking place. And if you were truly looking for a commitment, contract signing, uh, a binding, uh, just it, something didn't work out. Something did not work out currently. It just, it did not work out at all. I, I really feel like that's because um, some work needs to be done. Some work needs to be done. Something needs to, to complete up. Something needs to be to reach its potential. Uh, to reach its climax, I feel. Uh, something needs to truly grow to... Um, yeah, something needs to grow. It might be causing you to wonder if you will ever come to life uh, or if you will ever come to be. But with the two of two of wands, I feel like it's about time you make decisions of your life, uh, where you want to head. You know, you might be tired of waiting on this situation. However, with the ten of excuse me, with the seven of pentacles, it's about time you invest in long term, long term connections, long term. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you. Balance your finances out and just invest in yourself for the future. I see this card as uh, somebody who's investing in their retirement. I don't care how rich you are currently. Uh, all the money we have goes out if we spend it stupidly. Just balance yourself out. And you might be, if you're looking for a connection that you can invest in, just hold off. That is money, 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 money. Balance yourself up. And then, you know what happens when you gain back your consciousness? You're going to realize you have all the pace that you want in this world. You have all the, what? The success you could be wishing for. You have insight in your life and where you are headed. You have new beginnings. Just new beginnings. That self, that energy of uh, I went through shit and now I'm working on myself. It makes people feel like they're still competing. It makes people feel like they're still fighting. No, there is no fighting here. I'm doing me. I'm minding me. I'm minding my own business. I'm minding my own money. I'm, I'm just trying to get to the top of the chain. I never want to be broke again in my fucking life. Wish fulfillment. Nine of pen. Excuse me. Nine of cups. Magician. Ace of swords. And the eight of... Uh, ones i get this energy of uh you're going to get to a point uh you're going to get to a point where you feel uh jesus you're going to get to a point where you feel uh, a bit emotionally settled emotionally stable uh you good off your own yeah after doing some healing yeah and realizing how much people value you after realizing that people want to take you down on their level just their belief system don't match with yours uh, there's going to be uh, a wish you're going to make or just your wish fulfillment is going to come to life However, you true on have to work on yourself and realize like regardless of how much you have or how much you got going You can always do more with the magician. I get this energy I truly get this energy of you can manifest anything you want and whatever you're manifesting in your uh, mind It could be coming with this wish fulfillment. You could be having an opportunity that's coming towards you uh, after you're going a hard time by the universe is like, okay, here's your pass. Uh, whatever you want, he's, it's coming to life. And whatever you're going to manifest, you're going to be encouraged to be brave and courageous because there's a new opportunity that matches that. You know, there's going to be an opportunity. It's just like right off the get, you know. You make a wish, you work on it, and an opportunity arrives. Eight of Wands. Now communication wants to seek in. What's com this communication about? Strength card. Four of Pentacles. Four of Wands, Four of Pentacles. I'm going to just even cover it up. Stability. An opportunity is going to come arriving towards you. You might be dealing with an air sign. Uh, Aquarius. Give me a minute. Aquarius. Gemini. Libra. Yeah, you might be dealing with an air sign. And uh, it could be about um, you 
could be about ooh. I want to say could put you in your head quite a bit it could put you in your head quite a bit because it's somebody who's offering you a cup of love ten of pentacles uh, stability in terms of um, a family dynamic you know uh, it's like you have the fourth pentacles it's like um, you you feeling stable you know like sometimes we feel stable for the moment or just we feel stable in general but with the seven of pentacles is that a um, how would I say it it's like you have everything you want you have everything you want you could be offering yourself, a, you could be offering your partner a cup of love and you're offering them um, that I have a home, I have a secure home. I feel good, I feel abundant, I feel rich, you know. Or you could be having love on your mind after you feeling some sort of uh, way about your finances. You're seeing like you got your finances on secure. Ten of Pentacles, financial balance, however, your self-esteem too is up the sky. You know, you, you, you're not feeling worried about anything. It's just like, okay, now I'm good to go. Uh, somebody offering you a cup of love could be making you set for life, could be really um, coming to true on rescue you. I feel like with the Empress, I get this energy of um, you need to heal. Just take some time for yourself, heal up, uh, nurture yourself, understand your self worth, take control of your life. But don't be, you say, with the Empress, they're being, con they take control of their life, but they're not controlling other situations. With the Nine of, uh, with the Nine of Pentacles, I get this energy of feeling self-worth, that value is in, within yourself, uh, feeling like you have true own, achieved something. And with also the Nine of Pentacles, it's like the universe is blessing you. With the Sun card, I truly feel happiness. It's just that you, you true own, feel maybe you're going to move on from this situation. Currently, there might not be a rebirth, but that's, that's, just to, um, that's just to encourage you to work on it. You know, you might be wanting to reunite with your person, and yes, the union is going to take place. However, it's not going to happen in, uh, in the same way, just in the, um, in the way you expect. With the sun card, you see happiness taking place. You might be traveling, relocating. Um, oh, wow. Oh, here we go again. You might be traveling um, just to take something off your mind and just be traveling to end the chapter in your life. Uh, if this is a contract you're in, like there is no renewal in the contract, you're just walking away. And you're walking away to uh, have these new beginnings, to just uh, experience something you're passionate about. You could be meeting a potential partner. You could be meeting a friend who you share interest with. But with the lovers, I feel like uh, there's going to be new experiences in your life and they're going to really um, bring in somebody who you enjoy spending time with. Because after that, I get the three of wands. I get the, um, I get the three of wands, knight of pentacles, and, um, and the six of cups. I get an energy of uh, you trying out different things to see what works out, different ideas, different projects, different perspectives. Uh, with the Knight of uh, Pentacles, I get this energy of um, you have something to hold on to. In the past, you might have been true on enjoying your success and achievements, but you're taking that success somewhere else to invest probably in a situation, in a person you have in your mind. Somebody who's offering you as much love as you're offering them. Somebody who's offering you a cup as much as you're offering them. Uh, in the past, you might have thought, you might have been in a connection that just felt like dead, done, over with. Excuse me, no. You, you might have been in a situation where you were hoping for a, recon a reunion to take place. Uh, you were hoping for... Um, you know, like when you light a candle and you put it out, you were hoping for just a spark of life again, you know, just, just that spark again. However, it's going to come in a different way. It's not, it, yeah, it is, it's something that's causing you to feel heartbreak. I feel like you got to go through this heartbreak before you enjoy this uh, world. Uh, you might be meeting somebody new or just you might be meeting somebody who makes you happy, uh, somebody who makes you feel this, this, new energy of light carrying you i feel like yeah 
with the judgment uh, I always get this energy of uh, let's say um, you you were indulging in something a connection or a situation however you put it on post focus on another thing and you come back to that connection it's like it's not there you know it's, there is no there is no response there is something is not taking place however that's just encouraging you to work on yourself work on um what you're meant to do, work on uh, your own happiness, work on your own fruition. And then is what's going to happen is in the future there's going to be a union, either with this person or this connection. But there's going to be a union and just happiness in your life. There's going to be um, a realization. Something is going to really shine through. Uh, if this is somebody who you haven't seen, or just if that's the same situation, um, it's going to come to the light. It's just that right now, there is a lot that's going on because uh, with that six of uh, six of uh, wands, I really feel like you might be seen as an example around people around you. People really up upholding you uptight, really appreciating every moment with you. Uh, with the six of wands, people might be coming for you for inspiration. People might be looking up to you as an example, trying to seek ideas and inspiration from you, or just trying to see what's the next move uh, based off your suggestions. Um, with the moon card, I feel like there's a lot of secrets that's being hidden. Um, if this is you and your person, I feel like... Um, I don't think... I don't, I don't think... I think maybe you might be dealing with a lot of friends at this time. That's the best way I can put it. A lot of friends, a lot of, uh, I want to say classmates if you're into class. Uh, a lot of uh, just people who want to learn off of you. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, I get this energy of uh, new cycles. Uh, your whole life is ascending in terms of new beginning and new experiences. And uh, as this ascension that's taking place, I did see this uh, in, your, uh, in, um, in your reading. Uh, with uh, with this new ascension that's taking place, I feel like with the Queen of Wands, stick to your beliefs, stick to your standards, stick to what inspires you, stick to what motivates you. And then there's going to be a time where you are going to spend your time with your person. Yeah. Did I go 30 minutes? Jesus Christ, I'm sorry.